Hey guys, welcome back to the Crystalina Perspective. Today, we in the bathroom. We in the bathroom, y'all. We're in the bathroom. So today I'm going to be doing another wash with me. I was gifted these products back in April, so I've been using a few of the products here or there, but I decided it was time to come on on here and just go ahead and give y'all a full-fledged product review, give you guys my thoughts, opinions, etc. So the brand that we're going to be showcasing today is in love beauty so if you're interested in seeing how my wash day works out stay tuned guys so in love beauty sent me an amazing gifted pr package y'all this box who is jam-packed now when i look on the little card here um it says that it shows nine different products that this brand have i have seven full-size products but they it looks like they added two other products in so i'm good i'm ready to go first off seven products is a lot of product okay a lot but um, so far, I've been looking at some of the reviews. I've used like three of the products already. So I'll show you guys all the products and stuff. But one of the reviews, just to give you guys an idea, is um, one of the influencer feedback is the leave-in and shampoo are great. Make my wash and goes last for days. And then an Amazon review says that it smells amazing like vanilla frosting. So you can shop their products at their website as well as on Amazon or any beauty supply store near you. I'll put links and stuff down below. Let's get into the box. So I'm gonna throw up a clip of how, or a photo of how gorgeous this box was before it got to me. Now that I have the box, um, let's just say I have ram sacked. I've ransacked it like real good. So the box was shipped in another box, which I appreciate it. It looks like this right here. So super duper cute. When you open the box, it says it's massive, y'all. It says, hello, love. And then this is all the product, y'all. Like they went in. So the two non hair product line products that I'm loving is they sent us an in love face mask. Y'all don't say face masks are out because look, honey, they in, especially when I'm traveling, they in because people be coughing and stuff. Mm. All right. Then they sent me the Lip Bar Lips. This is a lip gloss and this is the color Dream Chaser. I've been wanting to try the Lip Bar for so long and they sent over this product right here. Here. So I cannot wait to play with this lip gloss. Super duper excited. Let's get into the products. So the products that will for sure, like for sure, for sure, be using today, I am going to make sure I let y'all know. So the first things first, we're definitely going to be using this is the In Love Forever um, forever for always the moisture crush shampoo for dry textured hair it gives deep hydration and smoothness with coconut milk and aloe vera so this is what this right here looks like i'm loving it and then we do have a leave-in conditioner and not leave in a uh, rinse out conditioner this conditioner is deep hydration and pillow softness as well this is oh wait deep hydration and pillow softness it has coconut milk and aloe vera oil same ingredients and this is what i'm loving right here this is the packaging also on it it tells us that it has not just coconut milk but marula oil shea butter honey my hair loves honey y'all and argan oil so i'm super duper excited to try that and what i love is looking on the packaging and seeing the ingredients first ingredient is aloe vera leaf juice and then we have aqua as number two water y'all know the top five ingredients look at the top five ingredients in your products the top five top five top five I'm just saying and then in this product as well we have the aloe um leaf juice water is the second ingredient so i'm super duper excited to have both of these and then after we get through 
sh um, shampooing and conditioning our hair. I'm gonna go in with the leave-in conditioner. This is the Moisture Crush leave-in conditioner. It's non-stop intense hydration with coconut milk and aloe vera. This says to lift me. Oh, y'all, this is fancy. And look at there. It has all the instructions and stuff right there. I love that for me. <laughs> this is what this product looks like right here. So we will be using this product today. And then I'm not exactly sure which one of these I'm going to use. I've already used one of them. So I think that I may actually go in with this one. This is the Endless Act of Curl Definition. This defines curls with deep moisture with coconut milk and aloe vera. So this is a curl defining cream. So I think I'm going to go in with this because I'm going to do like a simple little up style. And then I'm going to have like some twists coming over like real, real simple simple because your girl i'm traveling y'all i'm procrastinating i'm running off of times like this like this so i am needing to get in do what i need to do and move on with my life like i'm not even deep conditioning this week but um so let me bring it back in y'all because i got off on a tangent I'm going to use these four products and i'm going to talk really really quick about the other three products because i have used them so first things first is the edge control. It says 48 hour hold, no flaking, promotes growth with coconut milk and aloe vera, um, aloe vera in it. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up because I have used it as you guys can see. First off, these products, I'm not gonna lie, no cap, they smell amazing. It smells like I just got done baking, period. Like, smells so amazing. But I have been speaking with the company. They switched their formula of your edge control. So they think I have the older formula. Needless to say, I'm going to continue to keep playing with it. I'm not an edge control girl, but it could totally be user error. But when I did try this edge control, I like insert a picture. It did slick down them edges, baby. And we was like in there. However, um, I just don't think I know how to do edges, which is definitely a possibility so um i'm not blaming a product right now i'm blaming the user but this product smells good um it did not hold for me for 48 hours i also have super duper soft hair and anytime any wetness hit it my hair is like ooh, i need to do a wave ooh, i need to do a curl and i'm like that's not what i was going for that's not that wasn't it so I'm gonna keep playing with this edge, edge control. Like I said, I don't think it's the edge control. I just honestly feel like it's the user. The next product, I love this product. Like y'all finna like look, I love this product. Like this product is my go-to when I want to refresh my hair. It is one of my go-tos. This leave-in conditioner, there's two types. There's this one, and then there's also like the actual leave-in conditioner that you have to like scoop up this baby i love this stuff and you just shake it up because i mean since it has natural ingredients it does settle you shake it up like y'all can see i've been using it like look at that i'm gonna need another bottle if i don't stop playing Ooh, child. And then the last product that I have been using, and I really do like this product, I've slowly been getting into mousse. I am definitely a wash and girl girly. I don't do a lot of low manipulation style. Well, I guess a wash and girl could be low manipulation, but typically my fingers are always in my hair. So I use this foaming mousse. And let me just tell y'all, this foaming mousse, baby, the texture was there. So I know for a fact I genuinely like these guys. So I'm gonna do this video a little bit different. Last video I was talking and then I came over with a voiceover. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to, we're gonna inspect the hair together and then I am going to wet my hair um, and then apply the shampoo. I'm gonna apply it on camera and stuff so you guys can see. However, instead of me talking to you guys like this, I'm gonna come back in with the voiceover. So that way it could just be a little bit more quicker than my last video or whatever. So let's get it, let's go. The hair is dirty, but it's not as dirty. Also, this is hair that I trimmed myself. So it's in need of a serious wash. The curls are just not curling. It's just, mm. But my hair does still, it still feels moisturized. So I'm very, very grateful and happy about that. So I am going to go in with this shampoo. First off, 
smelling it. Y'all smell it. It literally smells like a vanilla cake. Like all of their products has this amazing vanilla smell. Now, I do know that some people may not even care for that. I know that there are some people that may have sensitive scalps or sensitive noses, but for me, I don't. So I'm gonna go turn up, okay? I'm just saying. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the conditioner as well. Oh wait, it smells, it smells like a cake, y'all. And out the gate, this conditioner is thick. Can y'all see that? It's thick, thick, thick. I'll do a better close up a little bit later. But let's go ahead and get this wash day done. All right, y'all, so I went in with the shampoo and let me tell y'all, it's super thick and hydrating. It lathered really well and it definitely cleansed my hair. However, in addition to cleansing my hair, it also gave me great moisture. I was blown away by how this shampoo lathered. It lathered so well. So I'm going to repeat um, after this first shampoo, just so that way I could cleanse the rest of my hair. Right now I'm kind of focusing on the scalp, but this shampoo, yes ma'am, yes sir, I highly recommend. It was amazing slip and my hair did not feel stripped after using it both times that I used it during this particular wash day. Okay guys, so the hair is cleansed. I'm loving how my strands look so hydrated. I then went, went in with the conditioner and y'all, this conditioner was super duper thick. Of course, I smelled it again because it literally um, smelled like a vanilla cake. Now, I was looking for more, I guess, lather. Not necessarily lather, but I don't know what I was looking for to be honest. Um, I'm gonna reuse this conditioner again. I definitely think that I may prefer a deep conditioner with this system however the conditioner had amazing slip as you guys are about to see as I detangled my curls I was using a dimming brush and the curls was curling um, it made it to where I was easily able to get through a few small sections in my hair and it did what I needed it to do however the verdict is still out about how I truly feel about this conditioner. The hair was moisturized though after using the conditioner. Okay y'all, so now I am putting in some leave-in conditioner. This leave-in conditioner was like a whipped like leave-in conditioner. It was very like thin, but it was moisturizing. Afterwards, I went in with the curl defining cream, which I'll show you guys better up close of these products a little bit later in the video. The curl defining cream was thick. And let me just tell y'all, it like made the curls pop and the moisture was moisturing. So then I'm now sewing it down so that way you guys can see me apply the leave in and then you'll also see me apply the curl um, defining cream. Y'all, uh, this brand is slept on. I'm telling you, it is slept on, okay? So eventually here, you guys are gonna see me use the edge control. Like I said, I'm not a huge edge control girly. Honestly, I don't even think I know what I'm doing, but it did its job, it slicked the hair down, and I'm happy for that. <laughs> So I then went in with the hair mousse and let me just tell y'all, the texture is there baby with this hair mousse. Um, on and on, I think this is an amazing product line. Definitely check them out. Let me know what y'all think down below. So guys, um, 
um, let me just tell you, I kept this hairstyle up for about two weeks and my hair was still moisturized. Of course, I did, you know, throw in a little bit of moisture here or there, but I'm very pleased. Let me know what y'all think. Oh,